Wow, there sure are a lot of books. Shh. Oh, sorry. Where should we start looking for Stella's numbers? There are so many books. I guess we'll just have to look through them all. Psst. Hey, over here. Shh. It wasn't over me. Over here, I say. I can show you where to look. Who's being so noisy? Me. I'm Booker T. Bookworm. I live here at the library. And I know everything about every book. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Mr. Bookworm. I'm Barney, and these are my friends, Kim. Hi. Robert. Hello. Ashley. Nice to meet you. Curtis. Hi. And Kristen. Hello. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Call me Booker T, everyone. <laughs> okay, Hi, Booker T. Hi, Booker T. Well, Booker T, Stella the Storyteller told us she visited the library this week looking for new stories. She certainly did, and I have to find a bunch. <laughs> well, well, she might have lost some numbers to her very special alarm clock while she was here. I'll help you look. I can show you every book she read on her visit. Hey, oh, hey oh, that would be great. Where'd he go? Hey, everyone, down here. <laughs> this is the first book Stella looked at. Oh, boy. <laughs> that is the story of the goose that laid the golden eggs. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Will you read it to us, please? Well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, a farmer and his wife lived on their very small farm. They didn't have much to eat, but what they had, they often shared with neighbors. My wife and I only have a few fruits and vegetables. You can have some of them. Thank you. We'll bring